Okay, so you want to rub in the butter or hard margarine okay. into the flour. You need to use a hard fat for this. Um, use your fingertips, don't get any of the mixture on the palms of your hand because that's a warm part of your hands and you want to keep it cool so the butter doesn't melt. So once your mixture starts to look like breadcrumbs, you can stop um, and then add your 75 grams of caster sugar. Give that a mix. So that's your basic crumble mix. Uh, you can add um, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon to it or oats to add a bit of fibre and a bit of texture, but that's up to you. So when you peel your apples, you want to make sure that you're not peeling towards your fingers because this is quite a sharp blade. So just peel your apple like that. When you prepare your um, apples, make sure that you use your bridge and your claw method, so that's um, keeping your fingers out of the way. Um, if you want to, you can use stewed fruit, so you could stew this at home, um, which is just cooking it with a little bit of water so it becomes softer with a bit of sugar in it, um, or you can use cans of um, stewed fruit. Okay, then you just pour your crumble mixture over your fruit. Don't pat it down too hard, it just needs to be spread over. So all the apples covered, or whichever fruit you've used. And then that's ready to go in the oven. Okay, so your crumble's best cooked in an oven-proof dish like this one, but if you don't have anything like that at home, uh, you can get these from somewhere like the pound shop or the supermarket, um, a foil tin instead.